Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. Um, so we're almost halfway to Christmas. Well, we're over halfway to Christmas, yeah, aren't we? Definitely. Yeah, yeah, in 11 days, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 11 days. That's not far away at all. And this is my breakfast this morning, shreddies and frosties. you got to have the frosties on top so that the shreddies go slightly so soggy but not too soggy because fr soggy frosties are worse than soggy shreddies. And milk. So we are I have just arrived at B&M and Aldi just over there. Um, oh, that words have just failed me. What was I saying? Mom? I don't know. Oh yes, we're going in B&M and Mum's having a quick look and I'm just basically looking for a Doctor Who figure that I want. I've heard that they're generally out in stores at the moment, so fingers crossed, but it's hell finding the Doctor Who figures in B&M at the moment. But it just is hell in general because that's the only place they release them now. Um, and then we're going in Aldi. Today's mask is my Christmassy one. You probably can't hear much because it's really windy. But yeah, this is my Christmassy one. Do you have the one I wanted? I've already got this one. But yeah, this is what stock they got in South Brighton. Hello. So the news has just announced that London is going into Tier 3 on Wednesday at 0001. So one minute past midnight on Wednesday which means Wonder Woman won't be coming out as that's meant to be coming out on Wednesday which means I won't be going to work on Thursday I shouldn't think because by the time tomorrow's lot have been in, today's lot have been in if they need anyone extra that would be Wednesday's lot I'm not in until Thursday so I don't reckon I'll be going back um, so that's a bit odd uh, a bit inconvenient, I really wanted to see Wonder Woman I don't reckon Wonder Woman will have a cinema release now in the UK because I don't see the cinemas opening until at least the end of January. I mean, there's got to be another lockdown or something in January. Um, but yes, yeah, so won't be going for Wonder Woman, which is quite annoying. Because I was excited I was going to watch Wonder Woman tonight, if I had time. And then read the comic tomorrow, the prequel comment, and then watch Wonder Woman on Wednesday. And we decide we're going to Leicester Square Cinema. Because we always say this, we get her tickets like a couple of them from my work and we're going to go to Leicester Square to go to the fancy cinemas and well first time we decided it and obviously it's not happening so that's quite annoying but yeah we'll just see what the next few days bring whether I go to work or not in the next couple of days hello so I've just noticed I have not vlogged my lunch even though it was a really tasty lunch that I was going to vlog so I had gnocchi, which if you don't know what it is, it's like this potato pasta. It's very starchy, basically. Um, pasta sauce on it. Chopped up bits of chorizo. We got it in like a sort of ring thing out of Aldi. I, I did buy two. Oh, you meant the third one. Oh. Um, Sun-dried tomatoes, which are like really oily. They're out of a jar. I really liked them. That was a struggle to find. They didn't have any in Aldi's. Um, we went at Waitrose and I got them from there. Um, but yeah, no, it was, it was really nice. And it was inspired, funnily enough, by a Snapchat memory that I had to come up this morning. And I generally send my boyfriend the interesting ones. And I thankfully sent it to him because I was quite in wanted to have it because it looked so good. And I texted him while I was in Aldi's and said, what else was in that Snapchat memory of my own Noki? I know it was chorizo. And he was like, it's undried tomatoes. And I was like, ah, I haven't got those. I'll also put a bit of cheese in because it thickens up the pasta sauce sometimes and gives it a bit more flavour. But yeah, no, that's what I had. I also had some of the strawberry and pineapple. No, strawberry and banana possibly. Wh whatever it is. <coughs> Smoothie out of Aldi's. Hi. So I thought I'd show you what I got from Forbidden Planet the other week, because I did. Okay, so first up is, uh, is screwdrivers falling further into the bag, but I got Chris Eccleston, the Ninth Doctor. So this is his box, he was on sale. He had gone down something like a fiver? 5 99 last time I was in there, but now he'd gone down to 2 99 
Couldn't resist. Maybe I've put a screwdriver back in here. I, I don't know. I'll find a screwdriver in a minute. Kept falling out of his hand when I looked at him. But yeah, that's him. I have the Twelfth Doctor one like that as well. I wasn't going to buy any of the others, but I couldn't leave them there for three quid. And this tiny little Thirteenth Doctor from Rosa, which is was five ninety nine. No, was seven ninety nine. Now five ninety nine. Again, sale. It's always an issue when I go on Forbidden Planet and there's a sale on, because you've not even got just the sale shelf. And then I got a Wonder Woman pop. Not only Wonder Woman, I got Wonder Woman 84 pop. All of them were on the sale shelf already. Down from 29 dollars to 99 this one. Others were lower, but obviously this one's actually Wonder Woman. She pretty, but... Alas, it wasn't meant to be, and it is not coming out this Wednesday in the UK because we're closing again. Which is annoying! But, you know, these things happen. I'd even brought myself a little Wonder Woman pen that I could have taken to work with me. It's got her, again, like Funko Pop on it. Yeah, there you go. How cute is that? She's got her lasso of truth. She was 2 99 but I have no regrets. So cute. I've always seen these, but they've never had characters that I like on them. So I've been like, near. But they got one that I have a, a character I like on. So that's cool. I also seem to not have had the pen lid when I got to the till, so I've had to put like a spare pen lid on it. Well, it wasn't spare, I nicked it off somewhere. Um, got a little Spider Man pin badge. How cool is that? 3 99 Couldn't resist. Decent pin badge. And I got the Doctor Who comic that's number one of this new reboot of the comic series, but it's Rachel Stott her art and I've seen her at so many Doctor Who comic days and free comic but days I've got so much her, so many comics signed by her I love her work on the Doctor Who stuff just love it I follow her on her Twitter as well she's pretty hilarious but yeah I was gonna wait till the graphic novel came out but when this art was in front of me I couldn't resist so yeah I got that as well um, let's go on to what I got in Primark that day. Jeez, I haven't even tried this on. I'll try it on the set. Got this cute little Christmassy jumper. Um, I think this is going to be my Christmas day outfit. I don't know. I didn't have a Christmassy top apart from this and a Doctor Who one. That was a dinner. But it's quite soft. I'll try it on in a minute. Uh, what is this? This is another top. Ah, yes. This was the weird find. So this is an Animal Crossing top. But the weird thing about it, okay, it's black and white, which is a bit odd. But this was in the men's section. Not a single Animal Crossing thing in the women's section. This was in Primark. Like, why is there an Animal Crossing t-shirt in the men's section? Like, don't get me wrong, I know some men play Animal Crossing, but I would say stereotypically... There's more women and kids playing it, so I don't I don't get why the men's section had them. Because I looked in the kids' section too, they didn't have any. Because I was like, oh, maybe I could fit into like the top size, you know? Okay. Oh, that was... How much was that? Let's check the receipt. Uh, nope. I went to Primark that day. Um, I think it was like a couple quid. No, it was more than a couple quid. Ah, found it. Okay. Ugh. Uh, Animal Crossing, six quid. Eh, it's not cheap, but it's an Animal Crossing top. It's cool. Okay, and then I went in Lego. I got this, Santa and Mrs. Claus. These were in the sale. They were down to twelve fifty nine. I think they were originally like 18 quid. And they're like brick heads. I've never had a brick heads before. And I got some Christmassy Lego. I haven't done that other Lego I have. But these will be first, obviously. I also, I kind of went in looking for this. <laughs> my sister will recognise this. I saw this on my sister Poppy's Instagram. At Poppy Tinkerbell, in case you're interested. She does like to plug herself, so I will plug her. At Poppy Tinkerbell. Um, I saw them on her tree on an Instagram post she put up. And I was like, oh my god, those are so cool. And tagged my friend who I was going out with. 
And then we went in, and it was like, what, eight quid for two of them, I think? Well, two. Two in the box. Uh, was it eight? Eight ninety-nine. I thought that wasn't bad. Like, they look like decent bits of Lego to build. And they look kind of cute. And more Primark. I uh, brought some baubles, miniature ones. Don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I thought they'd look cool for photography. So you got like gold, a silvery one, a red one, and a sparkly red one. These were a pound. Any ideas? Let me know in the comments. I don't know what to do with them, but I felt they would be useful. For a pound, I couldn't leave them there. And then I got this. I was looking for this. Some picky ring. Not got one of those. That's going on my keys. And I got, I basically I finished the first season of Mandalorian trying to catch up with my boyfriend, but that's not happened. No, I, I've not even started the second season. But yeah, I thought these Baby Yoda pins were quite cute. They were three quid. I thought, you know, probably the cheapest you're ever going to see them. You know. It commemorates the fact that this year I've actually watched some Star Wars, which I know a lot of my friends are happy about. And then we got these Bambi pins, including Zappa. Yeah, I like those. They're cute. I have so many pin badges that I've brought this year and barely had a chance to wear my denim jacket because when I went away in the summer to our holiday home, um, I didn't take my denim jacket. I only took a few bits because I thought I was only going to be there for like a week or so before I went to work. So I didn't really take anything to wear, including denim jacket and any pins. And then I spent like a month there, and I was just like, eh, this is the one time a year that it's not soaking wet so I can wear like my denim jacket. Ah, oh, well. I also brought this. It was 2 dollars This is a Mickey head, and it just, you know, it's loads of little bells. How cool is that? I quite liked it. Couldn't leave it there. I brought so many Christmas decorations for the tree this year. Uh, ah, this is... Next Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. I told you it was somewhere in there. But look, it doesn't fit in his hand. <laughs> like, if you balance it like that, it does. But that's it. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. Unless I balance it, I don't, no, you can't balance it in the entrance of his hand. Like, on the type, uh, you could balance it like that, I guess. Yeah, it's new fall now. But yes, those were my purchases. Also, this is the little guy I was showing you the other day. Um, he's in his little snuggly blanket. He's got a little handle bit for his snuggly blanket. So you undo the velcro there. Look at his little pores. And then slip his little feeties out. Look at those pores. He's got little toe beans. And this little tail. And this is literally only attached by like one of those plastic taggy bits. But at the same time, I feel like I'm going to lose the blanket if I take it off. So, I don't know. I'm leaving that on him for now though. I'm going to take his um, price tag off though. And he was 12 50 because I ummed and ahed and I eventually went for him. And it was meant to be because... My boyfriend was buying something which was over £10, making him their £12.50 offer. So yeah. It's cute. Hello, we're out again, in the car, as you can see. It's all wet, um, got the heated seats on. But basically, we dropped a clanger. I went to B&M for that figure, I vlogged about getting that figure. And somehow when it moved out of my basket because I needed to put something else heavier and bigger in my basket, it got misplaced. So, and we've checked the receipt, it's definitely not been paid for, we have no idea what happened, we're assuming we put it down when we're sorting out the baskets. And yes, we are now going back to b and as they close at 8 o'clock, and it is nearly 7 o'clock now, and I have to go as mum wants to listen to the news on the radio on the hour. So we like Christmas light spotting, you can see some there, and, oh no, those blue ones are just someone's house, some over this side, it's really struggling to focus with the rain. 
So there's some pretty street lights here. They're like green and white. Just add some traffic lights. There's some over there as well, but there you go. Oh, there you go. Really nice. Oh, very pretty street lights. Very pretty. Look at these. More lights. We're on the way back now. Mission successful. Mum also managed to get the sprouts, which they, well, she thought they didn't have earlier, but we reckon she just didn't see them. And here we go. Some more lights up here. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, we're going around around about. Oh, I see! They're like little clumps of lights in the trees. I think I've seen quite a lot of these. In oh, they're not clumps. They're hung up like recent. a star ball. Oh, yeah. No, they're not oh, clumps. Strange. They are sort of decoration, aren't they? Oh, I quite like these. Little blue hearts. Oh, no, these aren't hearts. These ones. The other ones with hearts. They're far bluer than this. I don't know what the white balance it's is doing tonight. Are they busy? Oh, oh. Should, should be some busy. Shapes. She's already back. And why are you already back, Mother? Oh, the lights have gone off now. That's because I have a bleeper. Ooh! And the guy reckoned ten minutes. What's the time? Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> it is seven forty-four. So hopefully by eight o'clock we should have our fish and chips. Did they say they have some loin butter sausage? <gasps> oh, it's exciting when they have your order. So did you pay in advance or? Did you Oh, so she pays in advance. Come on, you're not giving us any details, eh? Well, we're paying in advance. Any other details? Yes. You don't go in the door, you go to this little window at the side that's open. Oh, that's up, clever. <coughs> or taken off, but not pushed mm -hmm. out. You shout your order across. He comes from behind oh, the that counter. Far? Yeah, to the counter. Oh, okay. He comes from behind the counter, telling the chap what you want, starts to ring it up on the till. You pay, he just gave me the bleeper, he said, how oh, are you waiting in the car, it's cold out here. That's brilliant. And your number two did that, say? No, or is just, it just beeper two? two bleeper, oh. I was going to say, if you're number two in the queue, that is I am number good. one in the queue. Ooh. Getting flashy. So now we're just waiting for the bleeper to I go I bet we'll find fish and chips and go to the, trying to find the GP. <laughs> I was seven in the queue there. And how far down did you get? I got to number two. I think I'd still be sitting there on number two, matching my little bleeper. And that is because we assume that the phone service just didn't update itself. The phone queue didn't update itself on the GP shot. So Mum gave up in the end. It's been five minutes. There she goes, there she goes. Go Mum, go! Put the cushion straight. Oh, put the cushion straight. Got to push it. Putting a cushion straight. What do you think, guys? I think that's straight enough. Okay, can you see? No. We've got to keep the camera out of the way. Somewhere there. Ah, oh, there we go. There she is. Oh, there she is. There she is. She's getting the vision chips from Aquarius. You are on Instagram if you're wondering. The rice lip. I can't. Here they go, Aquarius fish and chips. Oh, much excitement, much excitement. Also, can we appreciate my car mirror skills? I am fabulous at lining up car mirrors. I do this if mum's like run in and out of somewhere to drop something off or whatever in this parking meter. Yes! She, she, she doesn't actually know that I've managed to angle it this well. But yes, Aquarius Fish and Chips in Ricelip. I know my sister will know about this place. We used to go here for chips after like a charity shop trawl. So that's pretty exciting. Don't know if we've ever actually had like, you know, full on meals. Here she comes, here she comes, here she comes! Oh, oh, there she is, there she is. Easier. She's just there. She's just there, she's just there, she's just there, she's just there! Ah, she's got the fish and chips! Here we go, we got our bag of Aquarius! How pretty is Rose at Manor Bridge? Yeah, it's so basic but so pretty. Mm. Oh, and underneath it, look. Look at this. Well done, I love this. I don't think we're going to find that on the Blue Bridge at home. Mm -hmm. 
Here we go. So we looked down this road and see, saw a lot of lights on the way. So there's some there. Uh, this person's got a sparkly tree. Oh, a lot of sparkles there. Sparkle. They've got reindeers. There's some on my side in a bit as well. Oh, blimey. Look at these ones. Look at these houses over here. Oh, on that side. Oh, wow. Did you see that? They had a massive wreath on the outside. Oh, wow. This, this, wow. Makes you feel like they've got a street group chat or something and they've all agreed to go for it because it's all very similar light. Oh, wow. Look at the tree on that. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? That is incredible. They come and pop me, Yes. We, we do like spotting Christmas lights, and imagine. One over there. Oh, and the stripy one over there. Oh, wow. What? These are the bungalows. Don't mind mum's phone's going off. So these are in our area-ish. And, well, they have, they used to, like, tons of them down here do it. But the first one still does it. Oh, look, look some people. Oh, they've put some in the tree. <laughs> Go. Can't really see much out in the background. There's some there. Some here. We'll show these another day properly. There we go. Here we go. We're at home. Got the Aquarius fish and chips. I've got batter sausage saveloyan chips. Gonna have the last of my Schweppes lemonade, some vinegar and salt and here's mum's fish which looks like it has an eye on it eye and a tea so going to do this here's a teddy bear for number 14 Ooh, there you go here we go final 10 three. Oh, here we go here we go oh no one set one two three no oh it didn't show you the little firework but I hit my 12,000 before 11 o'clock. Right, gonna start off Advent with this one. This is my Milky Bar one. What even is the date? 14th? 14th. And it's down here. This isn't coming out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. So we've got snowman. A horse with antlers. Um, horse with antlers. Sure and a Christmas here. tree. No. And snowman one, it's up here, number 14. And it's another snowman. And now it's my turn with the Malteser one. Oops, here we go. Ooh. Some teasers, ding dong bell. And. Oh. Oh, what? I reckon I know what it is. I think I do as well. It is. It's the day of the snowman. And the elf calendar. Which, of course, we know is a snowman. And number 14 on the cardboard advent. Is that over here by the table? Not a snowman. That's a oh, jar of flowers. <laughs> jug of flowers. Jug of flowers. Jug of flowers. Alright. Number 14. We can't remember who did this yesterday. I think it was Mum. Yes, because weren't you saying do they put a picture on the top of it on purpose? Well, colour, yeah. yeah. Come on. <laughs> you know, is no, apparently. Well, it might be on the other side. I might put the packet in upside down. The packet was in like that. No, put it in all the way in. Really? See? Anyway. So. We've got... Uh, 
Uh, navy Edge, so that's a topping. Topping, topper, uh, whatever. And I think that's the only edge in there, apart from other pieces. Number 14 on the hot chocolate calendar is... Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay, what? Banana. Now, I've had banana crusher. I've had banana milk. But I've never had a banana hot chocolate. Well, wow. that's quite very soon could if you wanted. Yes, or oh, not soon. Yes, I'm thinking with my coffee, then chilli, then milk, and then today's banana. But you've got a bit behind. Yes, I've got a bit behind. I'd say these are and the ones out the poppy. No, because I was going to have them in order. I want to. I'm going to have a little bit of each in a small cup. Not obviously all in one cup before Go you say on. anything, Mother. And I'm going to try them that way because I don't know how I feel about the coffee and the chilli. It depends how much the coffee smells of coffee for me, isn't it? Yeah. Because I wouldn't even say it's the flavour of coffee. I think it's mostly the smell. So I'm going to try a little bit of each to say I've tried them in order. Obviously the milk hot chocolate I'm going to like, so maybe that one I'll just have a full cup. But these two, I'm going to try a little bit of each, and if I like them, I can always have the rest. But we'll try it with a little bit of each, so that I've tried them all, and I've tried them all in order. Mm -hmm. Here we go. My tea, large print, 14. Sounded very good, didn't it? Yes, ma'am. It says Centra. It says what? Centra. Centra, yeah. Mm. Centra. Green tea in a bag. And it's probably not pronounced Centra, is it? No. Centra. These beautiful emerald green leaves produce a delicate aroma and a sweet, smooth, grassy flavour. No green-eyed monster here. This brews a classic green tea to be enjoyed daily. Perfect on its own. Sinha? Could it be a sciency? It could be. It could be. I don't know why you'd be have a green-eyed monster. I thought green-eyed was jealous. And as far as I'm aware, it is. As far as I'm <laughs> so aware. So no jealous of the green tea? <laughs> I've not tried eating grass. I don't know what it tastes like. Could have done one of the Maybe it'll be it? like when you smell, uh, when you eat rose stuff, It's it tastes of the fragrance almost. Maybe. Yeah, but I, oh, I see. Oh, we will find so out. So it could chocolate. taste of freshly cut, cut grass. grass <laughs> so I finally got a chocolate gatto today. I finished my step goal and I'm eating a chocolate gatto. I've been train uh, train craving. A chocolate gatto for ages. And we got one in Aldi today. Even mum just told me it and it was really nice. And that's saying something. Mum doesn't particularly do chocolate cake. Let alone gatto. Okay, I'm going to bed. It is 11.59. And yes, I'm getting ready for bed. And I will have a long day ahead of me tomorrow. And I will take you lot along with me. And yeah. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And see you tomorrow. Good night.